It's a beautiful day to go thrifting. Let's go see what we can find today. All right, so I was able to fill up the cart pretty quickly. Um, some Ninja, some Sony, some toys. I'm gonna go through and show you what I got and also see if it's worth any money. So first, these new package items. This is just a, a mouse. Uh, I scanned it, it doesn't have a good sales history, so I'm gonna pass, even though it's only three bucks. Not enough sale history to actually support buying it. Same with this, this is only worth about 10 bucks. It's, there's just not enough profit. But this guy right here is worth about 20 bucks plus shipping, so I'm gonna definitely pick it up. Easy to list and super easy to ship. Next up, this uh, Blu-ray player from Samsung. We usually skip Blu-ray players, DVD players, but this one has a really good sell-through rate. And uh, they want five bucks for it. It's worth about 35, uh, maybe even up to 40 plus shipping. So we're gonna definitely pick that up. It's complete. It has the uh, remote control uh, inside of it as well and the HDMI cord. So definitely a pickup for five dollars. Next up, we have another brand new in package item. This little guy here sells for about 10 to 15 dollars. Could be a really slow seller, but for three bucks, I'll take it. And it's super easy to list and ship first class. And then this Harry Potter crochet set, I'm not sure if it's 100% complete. It sells for anywhere from 10 to $20 plus shipping, but I'm gonna pass just because I don't know if it's complete. Found another pair of uh, buckle jeans. So I'm definitely gonna keep these. They should sell for about 40 with free shipping. Uh, they're women's, uh, they want $4.99. And I found these ASICs for five bucks, or I'm sorry, eight bucks, but they only sell for about 15, so there's definitely not enough profit there. And it's a slower mover, so I'm gonna pass. Next up is this Ninja Blender. It's the Auto IQ. It's really banged up. There's no blade and the cup is broken, but I'm only buying it for the motor. So if the motor works, it's worth about $40 plus shipping and they want five for it. Next up, the Sony Mega Storage. We've sold these before. They want 20 for it and this one's worth between 100 and 150 plus shipping. So we'll go home, test it out and see if it actually works. I also found a bunch of these dolls. I can't remember the name, but I noticed red-headed ones sold for us uh, with clothing for like 40, like quickly. So these I'm gonna take home, do some more research. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two bucks each. We'll see if they're worth anything when we get home. Also found these Star Wars movies. I have to do some more research. I think there's value when these are lotted up. Uh, but I'll do research when I get home. And the last thing is this Sex and the City complete series. It's worth about $20 to $25, but it's missing one of the discs, so unfortunately I have to leave it behind. Can I use them, please? Another day towards freedom, my friends. One squeaky wheel at a time. So the nice thing about that trip was that everything was $81 total, but because our Goodwill chains have rewards points and we shop frequent, it all cost $24.50. That's pretty right. awesome. Another really quick trip on uh, my lunch break. Time to go back to work. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed coming with me. And also hopefully you enjoyed actually watching my process of, you know, filling up the cart first. And then once the cart is full, then sorting through because, you know, once it's in your cart, you, you can take that time. And then also you can see my thought process of, okay, I'm going to keep this because, and I'm going to pass on this because, uh, hopefully that adds value to you. One thing that I stress often is not to pay for materials that you can get for free. You see that behind me, there's a dumpster full of cardboard boxes. I need some bigger ones. Uh, this is literally down the street from where we live. So we're just gonna grab the boxes that we need and leave the ones that we don't. And there's an endless supply and you don't need to buy any of them. So stop paying for things that you can get for free. So the nice thing about dumpster diving for cardboard is that it's typically just cardboard in here. So there's no trash to get really filthy with. And there's some paint chips that were, I think they're repainting this outside wall. So the ones that I really need are like this size here. So what I usually do is just make a stack of the ones that are, you know, like size. I stack them all up and get them home. Couldn't find a lot of big ones, just these two, but these are pretty solid size. Uh, they, they'll do really well. And these are higher quality cardboard, which is good. Got some dividers too. 
and then uh, a couple smaller ones. So stack them up, bring them home, and use them. The nice thing is we actually sold some uh, plates and cups, so this is actually going to be perfect for tonight's shipping. But yeah, there they are. Not, you know, nothing crazy, just free boxes, but free is free. All right, so back home now. Um, got those boxes, which uh, we'll put away in the garage, and I have one return that I need to process by today. It's a $275 return, a, a DVD VCR um, combo unit that the buyer claimed it did not work. And when I asked specifically what didn't work, they said that they couldn't connect the AR cable. So I asked for clarification and then they said, no, it's the AV cable, which is bogus. So anyways, this, um, my theory is that this is a drop shipper and uh, they bought it from us to resell it on Amazon. The transaction didn't go through and they want their money back. So let's check to make sure this thing works and we'll just simply relist it, refund it and move on. So the only thing I can really hope for is that it did not get damaged uh, during transit. You never know um, how people ship their items back. So let's take a look together and see how well they packed it. I see bubble wrap, that's good. Okay, there's the power cable, the VHS tapes. Okay. All right, so far so good. It actually looks like they never actually did anything with it. That's, that's what I think is going on here. They just, like I said, my theory is that, you know, they tried to resell it on Amazon. It didn't work for some reason. It's, you know, drop shipping is illegal. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not a lawful act. So I'm going to go ahead and double check just to make sure this thing works again, refund them, and then um, go ahead and relist it. And just like that, we're back. It's uh, Friday morning and it's time to get all these orders packaged. We have 10 orders going out um, and we have a couple of good ones. So let's take a look at what's sold. So here are all the sales from yesterday. First off, this Panasonic VCR without the remote sold for $80 with free shipping. It should ship for about $15. That's how we typically price these units because they're not, they're not huge, but they're definitely a little bit bulkier. Pretty happy to have it gone. We paid $6 at our local Goodwill. Next up, um, this Erdl uh, is the manufacturer, this Ford 7710 tractor. I found all of this for $25 at a garage sale. And I actually didn't have service inside of the garage itself. It was in a rural part of town. But after I got some service, I looked this guy up and by himself, the tractor was selling between 30 and $40 plus shipping. But I didn't see any of these attachments for sale. So what I did is I actually bought a Harley Davidson jacket from this uh, person, went to my car, did some research, went back and said, hey, as a returning customer, would you um, would you knock off five bucks? And she laughed, gave me a hug and uh, she gave me the five dollars off. So anyways, all of this sold for $100 with free shipping. It'll cost about $15 to ship it all. And I'll definitely give you some packing tips of how to ship something so fragile and, you know, with so many different parts. Uh, next up, a couple of pieces of clothing. Um, this vest sold, this wasn't a good buy. I paid four or five bucks for it at, at Goodwill. It's leather. I thought it would do better. Um, and I'm selling for $22.50 with free shipping. It's first class, so it'll cost about $4 to ship. So we'll make a little bit of a profit. Uh, definitely sat for a while. I assume someone's buying it for Halloween. Glad to see it gone. After that, another lower valued item. These jeans are basically, we're, we're making our money back because these were bought once and returned. Uh, they didn't fit. And they resold again um, for $23. So we'll basically just cover the cost of shipping and in initial buy and the original cost of shipping for the you know to the first person that bought and returned them next up another vintage sweater we have a dollar into this uh this one i think was made in korea i'm not sure where the tag is but uh anyways just a neat old pattern uh this one sold for 31.50 and it's right on the right on the edge of over a pound, under a pound. So it might go first class. If it doesn't, it'll go out for 7.52 inside of a padded uh, envelope. Next up are these plates, this 15 piece set. Now uh, these are that brand that no one can pronounce, uh, Falscroft. Um, 
Anyways, this set we got for free from a friend and it sold for $60 with free shipping. It's going to take some time to ship this. Um, as it's ceramic. We have to individually bubble wrap each uh, piece and then cardboard wrap them so that they don't get damaged in transit. So it'll cost about $20 to ship it out. We sold it for $60. So we'll make, you know, a $30 profit roughly after fees. And, you know, that's that's basically us getting paid to wrap it. Next up is this Yamaha keyboard. I picked this up at Goodwill for six bucks. Uh, <clears throat> but it didn't actually come with the power adapter, so I had to wait and buy it. So what ended up happening is that I bought it and it sat for a while, I, I didn't do anything with it. And then I found another one that came with the power adapter, so I was actually able to test both and they both worked. And then I bought this guy, I think I paid five bucks with free shipping for this adapter on eBay and uh, it sold for 60. So pretty happy with the sale and uh, pretty happy to get out the door. Next up, a couple of pieces of media. Uh, one brand new, a sealed, one in excellent condition. These two copies of Gunsmoke sold for $20 with free shipping. It'll ship media mail for about $3. And uh, next up, these Honeywell filters. Uh, I bought them for $2 each at Goodwill. I loaded them up because they're gonna go first class. So the three of them sold for $30 with free shipping. It'll cost about $5 to ship. And I have one more sale. It's a couple of mixers or uh, beaters for a mixer, but I can't currently find it. So I'm gonna do some packing and look for it. All right, it's time to pack this tractor. So what I'm going to do, this is one of the pieces. What I'm going to do is individually wrap, bubble wrap, uh, these fragile pieces. And if I have some of these smaller boxes where I can actually create separation with a hard barrier, I will do that as well. Um, that way when everything is in one big box, if it does you know, get dropped or something like that, it doesn't get damaged. So that's that's the whole point. This big one is going to be the, the probably the toughest one just because it's a bit oblong, but it shouldn't be too hard. It's always the same concept. Uh, it's literally the same concept as these. So I'm just gonna show you the tractor packaging today. I'll show you some ceramics, some other video. Um, it's the same exact concept. Bubble wrap each exact each piece, cardboard wrap the ceramic or glass, uh, just like a taco, and then put them up, put all the smaller pieces into one big box, tape it up, and, and ship it. So, bubble wrap first, and then I'll show you how I cardboard wrap them. So here's one piece. So bubble wrapped, and all I'm going to do is just wrap it like a taco in this scrap piece of cardboard. I'm going to tape it up and uh, it's just another barrier of protection in, in case again it gets damaged or dropped or uh, in case it gets dropped so that we prevent damage. So this is the tractor. It's, it's been bubble wrapped. So I took this like legal box, cut it in half and now I can just slide one piece in to the other and create a box. So it'll be a box inside of a box and here are the rest of those pieces. Now I just simply find a box that'll fit all of them stack them in like tetris and it'll be good to go all right there it is so all the boxes fit relatively well in here this will just be squished down a little bit i'll put a little bit of white paper inside of these two gaps and that's all set all right we got it all packed up the only thing that's missing from this pile are those mixers those beaters i still haven't found them i'll have to look for them later today let's go over the numbers and we'll wrap up this video so here are the numbers from yesterday we had 10 sales for 441 gross, we paid $54 for all the items that sold. It cost us $111 to ship everything. We paid approximately $53 in fees, which left us $223 as net profit. And after the government takes theirs, we are left with $179 cash in the bank. Thank you guys again so much for watching. This will conclude the video. Have a great day. Stay productive.